Welcome back to the Linux Security Series. In this series, we'll discuss security issues that affect Linux systems and common misconfigurations that lead to them. Privilege escalation is a way that attackers can escalate their privileges on the system. For example, let's say that an attacker has gained access to your web server but only as a low privilege user. They cannot read or write sensitive files, execute scripts, or change system configuration. How could they compromise your server and maintain their access there? If they can find a way to trick the system into thinking that they are the root user, the attacker can carry out much more powerful attacks like reading and writing sensitive files and inserting permanent backdoors into the system. And this is where privilege escalation comes in. Today, let's talk about how attackers can e exploit misconfigured pseudo rights to escalate their privileges. Pseudo stands for Super User Do, and it is a special permission that allows users to run programs with the security privileges of another user, typically the root user. Admin grants pseudo access to users so that they can run certain commands as the root user. If the admin has granted pseudo rights for a command to a user, that user can run the command with root privileges by typing the sudo command before the actual command and then entering their own password. For example, to run the who am I command as a root user, the, root, the user with sudo rights can run this command. Most of the time, admins will grant users only sudo rights to a few commands, but even then, these sudo rights can introduce privilege escalation issues. So how can attackers exploit their pseudo rights to execute arbitrary commands as the root user? If the attacker has pseudo rights to programs that allow for command execution or arbitrary rights to files on the system, the attacker can exploit the temporary root access granted to him to execute code as root on the system. You can find the command the current user can run with sudo with this command. For example, let's say that regular users are given the ability to run the command find with sudo so that they can search for all files on the system. The find command is usually used for locating files and often has sudo permissions to allow users to find files across the system. But find allows for the execution of system commands through the exec flag. For example, to run the ls command from within the find command, you can use this command. So if a user can run the find command as sudo, they can execute system commands as root. These misconfigurations make privilege escalation trivial. For example, an attacker can use the ability to execute commands as root to add themselves as a root user in the Etsy password file. This command will do just that. This command uses the find command to add a root user with the username of Vicky and an empty password. Since zero is the UID of the root user, adding a user with the UID of zero will give that user root privileges. This command is not possible for regular users because only privileged users can modify system critical files such as the Etsy password file. Many programs give users the ability to execute system commands, and Fine is just one of them. Other examples include Vim, Python, Less, and more. Programs that lead to privilege escalation when run with sudo are not just limited to programs that allow for the execution of arbitrary system code. Any programs that allows arbitrary writes to system files can lead to privilege escalation when run with sudo. For example, if the file editor nano can be run with sudo, the attacker can use nano's root permissions to open the Etsy password file and then add themselves as the root user directly in the nano file editor. And the system utility cp is used to copy and override files. If it can be run with sudo, attackers can tamper with any files on the system by overriding the original file with its root privileges. For example, the attacker can create a copy of the original Etsy password file to a file that they own. Then, they can add themselves as a root user by editing the copy of the password file. Finally, they'll use the copy command to override the original Etsy password file with the modified malicious one. 
pseudo rights should be granted very carefully. Sure, some programs need it because they need root privileges to function properly. But if you grant pseudo rights to the programs that allows users to execute arbitrary commands or write to random system files, you will introduce privilege escalation vulnerabilities into your system. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll dive into more privilege escalation techniques that attackers can use to compromise your system.